Today, folks, is Tom Del Zappo. Tom is the founder of the New Hotel Collection. If you happen to be coming to Pinellas County or the Smoky Mountains, folks, we got a couple nice hotels for you, man. Uh, the New Hotel Collection seeks to provide a superior hotel experience through the marriage of modern amenities with historic ambience. And there's no doubt uh, they just bought the Cordova Inn in St. Petersburg, Florida, which uh, was established in 1921. And folks, if you, you know, in Florida, uh, there's not a lot of places around from 1921. Tom, welcome to TFNN. Tom, thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. Absolutely. So first off, I, I know, tell us about the Cordova Inn. And I mean, it's pretty impressive what you've done here. You, you not only bought an old, old hotel, but uh, the furnishings and everything else. You basically, well, tell us what you've done with it. Yeah, so we purchased it um, pretty much in the height of the pandemic, but really was a, a macro play on the real estate that we saw happening um, in not all of, all of Florida, but specifically in St. Petersburg. Um, so we wanted to have a footprint in, uh, in the town itself, especially with them building the, uh, the pier and a lot of the restaurants there. Yes. Came up, we bought it, we took it down. Uh, we've done a tremendous amount of reservations on it. We've opened a bar there. Uh, we have a coffee bar in the morning. We've redone all the rooms. We've definitely kept it uh, true to like it's 1921. The theme there is kind of like a, uh, a little bit of a, a French kind of theme with, uh, it's just, it's just wonderful. We brought it all back to its original state and, uh, the city has been very, has been, has been great to work with in, uh, in this situation with the hotel. So we're super excited about it. And they should be, cause we don't have many buildings that are, are beautiful like this downtown. I mean, you know, and you know, folks, trust me, I mean, I love people that want to preserve stuff. But sometimes when you're preserving a wooden building, man, I'm not talking about the code over here. I'm just talking about in general. Yeah. You know, this is something that that should be preserved. And that, that's so cool, man. You get a coffee bar. And so do you, have, do you have a do you have a liquor bar in there, too? Oh, uh, we've got a liquor bar. Cool, Absolutely. man. Cool. So we have a, we have a the bar opens up from uh, from Wednesdays to, uh, to Sundays. It's okay. The Scott. And it's got all these great bourbons, and you can have any specialty drink. We've got draft beer also, too. So it's open not only to the hotel guests, but what we've been seeing is a lot of people from the community coming in there and having a drink and just kind of hanging out in the lounge. And uh, there's, a, there's a library in there. So it's really – it's worked up well. We're, we're very excited about it. And like you said, there's not really – a lot of affordable hotels in St. Petersburg, and we try to deliver a five-star experience at a three, you know, three-star price point. So nice. For us, it's been it's been tremendous. Well, and so I'm I'm definitely going to come down here and have a beer and a coffee. Oh, that, no. that's for sure. That. That's for sure. So hey, tell me about this. This is pretty cool. So well, here let, let's talk about. It. I want to go down to the one. How long have you now? Now, folks, if you now this is downtown St. Pete, which is beautiful, but. If you like to go to the beaches, right? He has a beautiful place at the harbor side, which is Indian Shores. Correct. Now, so how long have you owned side. the one at Indian Shores? Yes. Yeah, so the one there's we're on Indian Indian Rocks and Indian Shores. So we have two places right directly on the waters in Indian Shores. Right. Uh, which are fantastic. Two and three bedroom condominiums right on the water, and then in Indian Rocks. Uh, we have a, a slate of, uh, of a building there inside Harborside, and it's great because there's the splash park for the kids, the beaches across the street. Yes. And that whole area is really interesting because there's just – it's it's a little, got a little bit of like a surfer bohemian vibe. It's not really it, built up like Clearwater, and there's just not a lot of places to build. So we've been very lucky with some of the purchases that we've had. There's no doubt. And what Tom's saying, folks, okay, I, I have a place in Indian Shores, so I – the, oh, the the it's a true beach community folks it's beautiful okay you take absolutely. it you can take your shoes off man and you want your shoes off yeah i mean it's it's really cool the reason i was how long have you owned that one so our first purchase was in indian rocks in, okay. at the harborside resort and then about a year and a half later we went right into indian shores because those places okay. came up for for sale yeah. Um, and then was Tennessee and just lately uh, nice. in St. Petersburg. So it's been about four years the company's been around. Okay, cool. It's moving cool. quickly. The, the reason I was asking, the, the guy w that actually developed that was so smart because he did it, folks, right in the middle. It, this is like an amusement park. So pitch, this is an amusement park on the beach, right? Yeah. So it's really cool because you have no competition, man. I mean, if I still had young children, it'd be like, well, if I have grandkids, I'll bring them down there. 
This, th this is like an ultimate place, folks. You, you look, so picture, folks. You can look at the water, meaning the Gulf. You can look at the intercoastal. You can bring your child down. You can do it. You can get out, go down. I mean, they got water rides there. They're extraordinary, man. <laughs> that that yeah, is so cool. Yeah, there's all, you know, it's great for parents with kids and young kids because they've got a kid's kiddie pool pot, you know, kind of area in there. And then they have a lazy river. But there's a ton of lifeguards on duty. There's yes. great food there. You can get plenty of beer or liquor if you want it. So mom and dad can hang out. It's a really great experience. So we get a lot of families there. And on the beach, it's more it's more coupling. You know, everybody yep. wants to go over there and just kind of hang out and enjoy the beach. Like you said, it's it's very, very beachy there. Now, let's talk about the Rocky, I mean, the Smoky Mountains. This is pretty cool. Okay, so um, up at the Smoky Mountains, what do you have? Yeah, so that's an interesting purchase because what happened is the city had decided to really put some investment in the city because they're watching all these tourists go by into – into the other part of Sevierville. So we were offered an opportunity there, a brand new build, a beautiful two and three bedroom um, condominiums, brand new. We've got a rooftop bar called the Sky Bar there that overlooks the mountains. Um, so that's been a, that's actually been a very exciting purchase for us. It's right on the base of um, Smoky Mountain um, National Park there. And it's, like I said, it's it's a little bit away from everything. So it's, it's very private. It's in this whole little community where the, the, the um, city council is putting all this money in. There's a lot of mom and pop places there, like coffee bars and, and, and little bars. It's, it's totally cute. It's worked out really, really well for us. Very excited about that. Nice. Well, I, I can see your focus is pretty cool, man. And when I just named off all those hotels, folks, okay, the website uh, is newhotelcollection.com. That's where you can pick this up. If you're coming to St. Pete, if you're coming to Pinellas County, folks, okay, you get three great choices. And I know these places, folks, okay? Well, if you're down Indian Rocks, Indian Shores, you're going to love it. If you're downtown St. Pete, you're going to love it. I don't know the Smoky Mountains, but that's a place that I do want to get to when we're so close. And uh, there's, a, there's a lot of folks that, you know, come from here, Tom, to Smoky Mountain just for, you know, because it's so close, right, for, you know, for, for the weekend and stuff, it's, right? We do. We actually get a tremendous amount of people from Tennessee and the southern states bordering Florida yes. coming down coming coming down here because they're landlocked, right? They want to yes. get to the beach and, and, and vice versa. People who want a little bit of a, a mountain experience can go out there with the family and there's so much to do out there. And it's just, uh, you know, it's nothing better than coming back and every place has got a fireplace and it's got a balcony and there's a bar upstairs up on the rooftop. It's, it's, it's a different experience, no doubt. So we get a lot of reverse flow from, from Tennessee and, and from people in Florida wanting to go out and experience that also, too. You're absolutely right. you got to love it. Well, listen, man, this has been a pleasure. Thank you so much. We look forward to having you on, and congratulations. You get some beautiful properties, man. I mean, this, um, you know. Hopefully we get to see you at the bar and I can buy you a couple drinks. Thank you so much for having me You on. will see me, man. I'm Irish. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great one, Tom. Have a safe one, man. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Stay right there, folks, to come right back.